Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert, back with another gear review. This time I've got my hands on a piece of kit that I first saw back at Music Messer at Frankfurt, uh, and it is the new, highly awaited ID22 audio interface from Audient. Now this, as far as I know, is Audient's first kind of uh, exploration into sort of audio interface territory and it is a seriously good one. Uh, other manufacturers could do with getting hold of one of these and seeing how it should be done. So I'm going to open up the box, show you how beautiful this thing is and take you through a quick recording session with some drums, we'll add some other bits and pieces and see what we think of it. So here it is, here's the box for the ID22. It says on the front 24 bit 96k 10 in and 14 out over USB 2. Now this is a serious piece of kit so if I open it up I think that's probably one of the best boxes I've ever seen. All the cables are under here USB key with all my manuals, installers and drivers and all that sort of goodies on there and the actual unit itself. Awesome. So let's whip it out of the box So here we are on the front panel and it's steel. We like that, it's going to be nice and solid. Two input channels for our mic pre's, phantom power, minus 10 dB pad, phase invert and high pass filter. And the knobs feel really pro, they've got a really nice feel to them. We then have our monitor controller, our main monitor volume, dim and cut, and our headphone controls and three function buttons. We'll get to that in a minute. On the back, so on the back, we've got the important stuff. We've got our two mic combi jack inputs, also a DI input. Send and returns for our effects loop. Two different sets of outputs, headphones, power supply, USB 2. And these two are opticals. Yes, this thing has got an ADAT port on it. So if you've got an external a to D converter, something like an Audion ASP008 that I just so happen to have, you can use this as your input for that. So this is getting towards territory of somewhere below something like a 002 in actual audio inputs, but up allowing you up to 10 analog inputs or 10 inputs via the optical. That's a serious, serious thing in my world. Most of the time, most of us only need one or two inputs, but if you do want to go up to the full 10, hook up something like an ASP008 and away you go, full drum kit recording mode. So this is the ID22 console and you can see the individual inputs listed. So my two mic inputs and my digital one through eight inputs. I also have six DAW inputs. So I can have many and various different sets of stereo returns maybe a main pair, a cans mix as I like to call it, or another or two different cans mixes as it turns out. Very similar in lots of ways to the virtual channels we looked at on the Apollo, but say just four in this case, but certainly this is the first of the interfaces at this price point and at this sort of spec to offer this level of console integration. If we go out to view, we can also see the system panel and you can see here that I've got an ADAT connection hooked up and I'm using the ADAT optical as my clock source. Very important to get your clock sources right when using any kind of digital to avoid any kind of clipping or nasty noises. You can also see my routing matrix there, how my stereo headphone outputs and my different stereo outputs are routed, which is again, very, very cool. If I turn this one off for a second, turn the system view off, it's also very cool to know that I can choose what to view just from the console itself. I generally like to see everything that's going on all at the same time. Hey, I'm like that. What can I say? It's very easy to scroll left to right. 
Also, one of my um, pet hates is having things not labelled as I want them. And the nice thing is that on here, I can change that to whatever I like. So I'm going to put in kick. Back to it, and there we go. There is my kick. So I can label all my inputs permanently, depending on from what mic pre's they come, or um, how I have it routed directly through to individual microphones, which is great. Let's put that back to mic one. So let's hook up some mics into this lot and see what we get. So here's my session in Pro Tools built, Pro Tools 11, and you can see if I go over to the mixer, I've got six channels. The kick and the snare are using the two internal preamps. Uh, Phantom Power switched on for the kick drum mic, because I'm using a Sontronics DM1B, and both have the 10 dB pad kicked in. Uh, I've set my outputs up, just so it sounds reasonably nice. This, however, is not controlling my foldback mix because you see here the only thing I'm sending to the foldback or to the cans mix is the click. If I go over into the ID22 console you can see here here's my inputs they're all set at zero but my cans mix is coming from Qmix B and that's what's setting up the send to my headphones. So my PT masters I've labeled these separately and my cans mix and here's my Qmix A and B masters, and they're all turned up nice and nice and high. Great. Firing on all cylinders. Let's record some drums. And there we go. Um, I have to admit, sounded fantastic in my ears. Um, nice, really nice, clear signal from... Um, the preamps in here, so everything sounded really fantastic. Let's play that back and have a listen. Yeah, really great sounding drums. Really, really impressed with the two internal preamps. All looking good so far. So this time I've gone from the bass into the 11 rack to give me my bass tone. And we're going to run straight into the line input of channel 2. And we'll see how this thing tracks bass and drums together. So this time we'll track some guitar. So the ID22 from Audion, is it just another interface? Uh, well, to me, no, it's not. First of all, it's built like a brick outhouse. Now, I know lots of other manufacturers are saying that at the moment, but this thing is seriously, seriously solid. We like that. It's also um, many things to many people. The preamps that are built in, we've proven to be really, really good. Sound great on kick drum, sound great on snare. Um, I'm sure they work equally well for vocals and many and various other things. I love the fact you've got the nice big control knob on the front and you've got the three F keys which you can configure to do pretty much whatever you want them to do within your DAW. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, headphone preamp, nice and loud. We also like that. So we've been wittering on about middle ground a lot recently on the blog and for me, this is it. This is bang in the middle territory. Quality wise, it is exceptional. Um, it sounds great, it's really well built and the two pre's you get in the box are fantastic. For me, the killer feature is the addition of the ADA optical port to be able to allow you to go from just another two channel, two out, four out interface to being a serious 10 input interface. We're talking drum kit, we're talking real band territory now. There have been plenty of records that were made on less than 10 simultaneous record tracks. 
plenty. Um, this thing's awesome. I like it a lot. Um, it could well become my portable rig of choice. Hook a couple of these together. Um, that's a serious, serious recording solution. Hope you enjoyed that look at the Audion ID22. I really hope there's a lot of other things in this sort of line coming from Audion. Certainly their preamp quality speaks for itself. I love the ASP008 and hopefully there'll be some more stuff coming from them soon along these lines. I've been James and I'll see you again soon for another gear review.